Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you, BlizzCon Weekend, kind of wrap up. <laughs> so we got all kinds of stuff, we got some cool uh, Community Weekend Q&A, we got WoW, we got Overwatch, Diablo updates, Hearthstone, like all this stuff, let's get into this, shan't we? Ah, uh, Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update, hope you enjoyed uh, your BlizzCon online, and uh, I purposely... Just, just to back up for a second, I purposely avoided the internet like the plague, uh, the tail end of the week, because I know a lot of times the last day or two, right before the event, a lot of that stuff comes out, but then I needed to do a web search for something, and I pop out of it, like, one of the top <laughs> search informations on my Google, like, gives away, like, this leak thing, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, I like the surprise, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, a lot of others are like, oh, sooner the better. Uh, I, uh, I, that's that's just what I like doing. All right, BlitzCon, let's let, let let's jump into this. We got a, a lot a lot of little thing pieces to cover, so th this may be a, a a bit today. So uh, bear with us. All right, BlitzCon. Well, we started off. Of course, we had that great intro there, like they always kind of do. They had their opening ceremonies. We had that that nice little intro. I wish I could have enough editing system set up so you could see, like, have me plug that into the the the, the imaging, like, over there. Um, but anyway, but so we we had that, and then there was the the, the big reveal for Diablo 2 Resurrection, which I, I kind of knew already. There was the the, the 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 leak that I had heard about anyway some time ago, and there was that I, I used to do my little predictions like a few days prior to the event and uh i feel bad for i think it was uh asmagold aka zach he um he, <laughs> he felt bad uh i guess he had done his predictions and like they had just come out so i i feel for him and by the way uh, brother to your arms uh mister over there because i thought i was one of the few uh individuals in the world that had never touched the stuff you know i i always seem to talk to someone they're like well i tried it uh, you know, and did it for a little while, but I, I want to send a shout out to you for uh, literally not touching any of that stuff. You know, aside from, look, you know, choose your poison, right? I, I like that. That that was a good point brought up. But anyway, we're to segue back. Uh, Diablo 2, uh, I was going to say, resur yeah, resurrected. Uh, it's basically like a remake of the second game, and I kind of we kind of knew this. And then with with the possible mobile games, mobile uh, again, we got the soon little TM that they like doing, which basically means when they say 2020 on, yeah, you might as well be prepped for like end of summer or like the end of the holiday season. <laughs> I'm not complaining, okay. But anyway, uh, I, I'm, I was uh, very excited to be able to play Diablo 2 uh, Resurrected. I know that there were other means and other ways you could already have had the code prior and just play the older version if you want. There's the GOGs to play, like the original Diablo, with, with that really cool little expansion they had of, like, Hellfire. Uh, Hellfire. Um, and a lot of those like that. We had the, we had the big in it. But you can check out, you can sign up for, like, the, 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 the Alpha... Not that there's any guarantee for that. The opt-in, that's like Diablo2.com. So they, they got that website set up for that one. There, there's a few of those coming up, like the, the beta and uh, the beta and the alphas and, and pieces like that, that that are coming as well. We got a, a rogue trailer for Diablo 4. So that's going to be in. Thank God! <laughs> Goodness! Freaking crikeys! How many times did me and my my old bestie uh, we would be like, ah, oh, if this was just cross platform? Look, I understand some are going to say, well, there's restrictions, there's a lot going on in the background. I understand all that, but I, anyway, we're very excited. Diablo Four is going to supposedly be able to be cross platform for like PC, uh, you know, my, the the Xbox, the, the new one, uh, PS Five. Uh, you know, Nintendo Switch, about, I don't know, I just really wanted, to, speaking of that, as well as all the big BlizzCon, we're going to come right back to the BlizzCon, hey, hey, hang with me for just one quick moment, I'm all excited, they put out the uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium, you get 1943 for free, over here, here we go, and so it, you you log into that that little app, and it looks like little arcade machines for, for a lot of Capcom stuff, I know they've already had a lot of other Capcom collections, 
but I was excited. And then I usually try to offer an update every once in a while. I know we hadn't done one, I think, last time because we hadn't seen a new SNES or uh, NES uh, emulation added back to those. And we got a couple more of those little goodies come out, like Prehistoric Man and like a few, a few more of those cute ones. And speaking of that, I wish I had the extra money. Thank goodness, though, for those that had bought like the 30, 30th anniversary, like Epic. Or like, I don't know if it was the Epic or the mi middle one, middle tier, or even any, was it any of those three? I can't remember now. I just know I had the third tier level. And I got the, after the BlizzCon day one, you get to log into your app on on your, your computer. And it, through that, that Blizzard app that they have, they call it an app. I know it's confusing because when you say app, you think, well, phone, right? Or tablet, you know, or, or this sort of set up the way they've got this one but no it, it's like it's in they added a little icon up there for arcade collections i was very very excited about that rock and roll racing uh you know lost vikings and yes i know there's a free way you could do like emulation uh there's those options uh for those that still may have the old original ones you can always always plug those in uh, those that were able to do things with like Raspberry Pi and like there's so many variations out there. But anyway, it was just kind of neat to get those thrown in. The only bumming part I didn't like was like another 20 bucks or the twenty nine ninety nine if you want to add and play arcade classics on here. Because I would love to be able to play arcade classics on this. But I'm like, ah, 20 bucks. I mean, someone go, it's worth it. You know, it was Blackthorn. Uh, I understand they were integrated and worked with Interplay and all that. It was kind of neat. They had a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, was was a lot of fun. So they did integrate Blizzard Classics on the Switch, which I was really... I just, at this point, I've been kind of like very... Trying to be very... <sighs> trying to hold back financially because I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now with my credit union trying to get a lot of... Um, numbers moved around if you if you follow my meaning there's a lot going on i can, i want to i don't like to tell people until i know it's gonna happen and i gotta make sure that those things because nine times out of ten every time i try to do some of those things some red tape gets in the way some human being has some look i understand we gotta have red tape i understand yeah, there's no perfect system but there's sometimes i i just i i've had so many people agree with me that sometimes these this red tape is pushed way too far that's all i'm going to say about that for for now let's uh, shift gears and come back in hearthstone so many things of course happy year of the griffin this year so we've got that as well uh forged and barons is coming for the horde um for the for the next expansion don't don't feel uh, left out alliance we we're getting a similar one because barons is kind of this this big deal for um uh horde i i think my now this is not get, this is not uh, verified, but just my guess, if you will, um, they'll probably be something like Let Westfall, or maybe they'll pick a different area. But if they're using Barons, that tends to be the equivalent for the Alliance side is Westfall. And if you look back at the WoW Classic, uh, they gave you that one those two little areas that tended to always be that very most pop popular two areas for each side. And there's a whole list of other reasons why they do that. Um, but we'll have to kind of see how that plays out. Anyway, that, that will be coming later this year as well. Uh, that's Forge and the Bear. Later this year is also the uh, Hearthstone uh, Mercenaries. Uh, because like I said, there, there was this uh, talk of possibly these um, these apps. I know in the Q&A, once again, every year they always ask, that, like, can we get the auction house back in our, our, our Blizzard app in some form or fashion or something? So... But we have supposedly, we've got a few other possible apps coming out that will sort of work with the game. And it'll be kind of nice because I am on the go a lot and it would be nice to be able to kind of take that with me. I find I, once I got to a certain point in the game, I was able to use the companion app so much more. I could send those characters out and then once a week I get my anima. But sadly, I haven't had a lot of anima to send out for quests lately. There's not a lot of stuff I need in there other than maybe a little bit of the anima. But... It's, I've been literally trying to upgrade my pieces to 197. It's not that simple. And I don't have like weeks, like all week long to go out and just farm anima. 
Uh, that's just not feasible in my situation. I literally have like an afternoon or a few hours on Tuesday after reset. I go get my 250 and I pretty much have to, you know, and then maybe one or two other little little minor micros in there. And then as I got, I've got to be able to get 300 plus anima or more just to upgrade. And I've still got like three or four pieces I got to upgrade to. I am thankfully renowned finally. I think I'm around 34. I can't wait to get a couple more this week. I can now go get 20 lost souls. I'm almost there. I know a lot of other people have already way past that. They're like, oh, we've maxed it at 40. Th that's them. That's great. I'm just sharing with you where I'm still at, if you will. There's a lot of others I know that, that don't even have that. But I'm excited because with that, of course, comes... I think that's a, a great time to segue into Chains of Domination. That's going to be our, mi our big patch coming up. 9.1. Finally can fly in. Now you got to do all the chapters in your covenant to po supposedly get Pathfinder this time. It's not all those reps we'd have to do and then like a hundred quests. Because like, I was plugging away at that in case. I think I have like 70 dailies in in that new uh, area. I've had thousands and thousands of dailies prior. But what I mean is it only counts for your current expansion. You've got to have a hundred dailies in your in your new expansion area. Uh, I've, everything's been explored. Um, I have all my Covenant story done up to where it can go, those first eight chapters. I know there'll be more storyline unfolding for those that may have seen the cinematic. I'll put the link in the description after. We, we See, I was right. <laughs> well, sort of. There was this hint of like what we saw about the Lynch back in Wrath of the Lynch King. And then we sort of see something going on. For I don't know, for those that have not seen it. Okay, pause it here. Major spoiler alert. Okay, pause it. I'll give you a second. Okay, with that, <laughs> with that said, now that you've now come back or not seen it yet, okay, now here we go. Spoiler. Uh, there was a, a mention of sort of another Lynch. And I was right. <laughs> well, sort of. Um, I know I'm stretching it when it comes to that, but there was the jailer sort of takes control of my, my poor print Anduin. And... Uh, you know, uh, the good news is uh, when I think 9.0.5 drops, we also get our ancient mount. And there's some in interesting uh, mention of some kind of little worm moving around in there. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to kind of see how that, that plays out. Boy, the uh, the narrator of... He did not like that. <laughs> when the, oh, and the, anyway, that, that was under some of the, 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 the Q&A. But there's so, anyway, so much more going on there. Uh, we'll have to kind of see how that how that unfolds. And I love the moment between Anduin and Uther as they kind of pass each other. And then Uther uh, holds to where his heart had been. Uh, there, there's this little moment that they share. And I just, I love those little things like that in the storylines. Uh, you know, a, as a writer and, 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 and an artist, uh, voiceover and just so many other things I've dipped my toes into just... Seeing that that kind of storytelling like that has always been exciting for me, and um, a, a special shout out to Deborah too, and um, Andrea and all the great casting. I was watching the voiceovers. I, I love those. Um, sending some love over there. That that was a lot of fun. We enjoyed the community. We'll get into the community thing in just a few minutes uh, as well. So with the change of domination, and there'll be a charity pack coming later this year. Those that missed out on bananas, the cute little monkey. The first time he was very, very hard to get back in the day. Well, I mean, to get after that. It was so expensive. And then now, like, you can get it from the charitable event. And if you reach the goal, they'll, we'll get bananas. If we get the second goal, we'll get the little sloth pet. I hope we can get the sloth pet for that as well. So that, that'll be coming uh, later as well. And then uh, as we uh, shift gears here, we now, okay, now we can head into BC Classic. There's a lot of stuff on BC Classic we got to talk about. First off, uh, I'm excited. They're going to be putting the pre-patch out. That was something that our guild was sharing in our little guild discord. Very, very excited about it. I saw my brother post that, and I was like, hoo yeah!" And then uh, uh, we, 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 bleh. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, so it's like, it make me tongue-tied. Uh, I'm excited. I wish they could have done that the first time around, so it's nice that this time we, we get our chance for Blood Elf, Paladins, and then the Shamans. To be able to start leveling prior, and they'll they'll do it in pre-patch, 
prior uh, to the release of BC. Now, they said later this year. Most like a lot of people are guessing August. It could be the last week. Some are going like May. I think we're going to get beta in May. And then remember when Classic came out, it was Classic Summer. Yeah, for like what? The 16% who gets all the beta? Uh, they got to enjoy it all summer, and we didn't get it until like the last week in August. So it'll probably be more like that. <laughs> I'm trying to be realistic here, you know? I mean, freaking crikey. Now, yeah, they could prove me wrong, and we might get a little sooner. Maybe. Uh, we'll have to see uh, how that plays out, okay? Um, but but there's so much more. You get one level 58 character that, that you can boost. You can't use it on the Draenei and or the Dark Elves. You can only use it for one character. It doesn't mean one character on one server, one on the other. No, no, one only. Uh, it's kind of nice. You're able to either stay in Classic, which is good, uh, and you want to adventure with your friends or get some more stuff done there first. Then you can migrate over, and it's kind of neat. Now, there's going to be supposedly uh, behind this little paying system. You will supposedly get to like, oh, I just want to take said character into BC, and I want this one to stay. You can get that. But I think beyond that, if you want to copy and everything right down to the gold, the item you had in your bags, everything, for that amount, you'll be able to uh, keep one in, in Classic, and then maybe up pull it later on if you've now done the things you wanted to with that character. And we'll have to kind of see, like, if that comes up, is the old one going to kind of go boop? And then when they merge into uh, that one, I don't know. That, that 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 question did come up, but I think I misheard it or misinterpreted it, so I'm not going to get into that until, until we can see better aspects. I know we're very, very excited about BC over here, our guild. Uh, that then I'm a late BC baby slash and or early wrath baby. So I'm excited. We're, we're starting to reach that. I can't wait to get to wrath because we finally start getting achievements. And that's what Bill got me into wrath. He's like, uh, Jan, he goes, achievements are coming. This was back in the day, <laughs> the original wrath because <laughs> he knew he'd get me for that. And, uh, but I didn't have the money either. I mean, like, I, I think I had played around with a, a night elf on, on his server a little bit every once. I'd come over and play it for, like, a few minutes or something. And then uh, I finally set up, like, the free account. Or I'd get, like, 30 days on it for free and then get to play for, like, a little while. But there was very little time, usually, for me to be able to do that. I mean, I've got countless stories I, I, I could talk about uh, with that. So let's see. We've got... Um, uh, behind the the behind the scenes, the Overwatch 2, of course, to kind of see how that all segues together uh, from it. Uh, you know, for any of those that, uh, like I said, we we just touch on these very very briefly uh, as well. Uh, and I loved love love Community Day. Well, they had the Q and A, and we had the Community Day. And then I liked what happened after when they did their little campaign. Uh, I I knew one of our guildies would. He, he really enjoys those folks. And uh, that that was a lot of fun to, to just listen to and watch. Uh, that, that was very, very enjoyable. And something I want to really share here about community. Okay, one second. Is, okay, I got to do one thing. Just to make sure. Okay, I'll, you, uh, we'll get into where, where I'm at after we, after we cover community day. I just had to make sure <clears throat> that that wasn't going to log out on me. You just, you got to move the icons around a couple times and we'll we'll get into that here in just a few minutes but special shout outs to those digital storytelling uh my apologies in advance those that know my channel know i botch these names uh steve uh devai devay uh chloe l-e-i-s and uh anna uh levine the these were some streamers and they worked from home Oh, uh, that was a lot of that was cute. I like that. That that was that was pretty good. Uh, it was Overwatch of some of the different characters. That that was inter that was pretty entertaining. I I thought that was and creative. I thought that was neat. I like it when um. <clears throat> and then we shift gears to second place, and I love how I used to watch so much uh M M Machinana or Machiana or however they used to say that, where they'd like take um. A lot like the World of Warcraft episode where they take models from the game itself and then you, you would sort of voice those characters. You can make them do different things. Uh, uh, 
I used to be able to say that word, uh, machiniana or something like that. It's it, ma- machini anima, anima, something like that. It's got like the word cinema at the end and then the beginning of working with with uh, pixels, uh, but but not but not uh, pixelated. Uh, it, it's it's a form they used to use back in the earlier uh, mid mid two thousands ish or so. Uh, anyway, I, I love that form, and they they did that was that was a nice touch. They did. Uh, uh, let, let me let me read this here. Second, the the, the Captain Supper, uh, Plague of Azeroth. That was a cute little musical, and uh, uh, I like that they they kind of covered the the whole mess with with the mask wearing and the six feet, and they he had the sword, the six foot sword, and uh, <laughs> that 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 was pretty humorous. I think the one that I laughed about the most is when we segue into third place. Oh my God! I couldn't stop laughing. Uh, whoops. Um, that that one was the uh, Arcadius uh, Surfang uh, Gray Mains Master Negotiator. <laughs> I love the the artist who comes up and like uses hands while they got the the, the their white beautiful dog, and um, the head looks a lot like Gray Mane. and the the actress who did uh, Sylvanas. And then we had like Anduin and Jaina in the background, uh, some of those characters, and just having those people come together. I just thought that was oh, I couldn't stop laughing. I was watching the the way the uh, the person would sort of puppeteer the arms for for the dog, and I liked that they put in there like the dog got a lot of treats. You could tell that was a very happy bear dog. Um, obviously, it was getting hugged quite a bit because uh, you know, and they're they're. <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. I think that's why the staff picked that as a third place because it's very, if you could find the humor in that, I, I think that was very humorous and that is a very powerful medicine right there. Um, I, I just, I had to share that. I thought that was hilarious. We had, um, as we shift gears into the art contest, I think that that was gorgeous. The the, the good old bad girls of, of Blizzard. Uh, uh, Zhang... Yang, yin, yin. Uh, my apologies for, for if I pronounce that wrong. Uh, first place for that. First place for that. Second place, Yang, uh, Xun, uh, for the uh, Kill Shaman King. And then we had the uh, third place with Angelica, uh, Char, Char, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. <laughs> uh, so, so who is one? W O N. Uh, so I just think that those were some uh, some beautiful ones, and then we had, of course, oh my God, the best in cosplay! Holy crap, that Bulvar, Yowza! That was from uh, the the Harrigan uh, cosplay uh, group. You the they was not CGI. There was real smoke coming out of his chest. They had like little smoke packs in there, and it was like, oh my. Freaking crikey! That that was first place. Uh, let's see here. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna put the link to uh, BlizzCon.com, and you can see a lot of these in there. Um, I, I thought that was uh, uh, pretty cool. We had uh, Queen uh, Nebulon, the Tide Hunter. I remember that one. Uh, that was from Modern Creation from uh, Pan Pandarion. Uh, again, my apologies for pronouncing these wrong. Uh, winner of the weapons and armor. She did a nice job with the Barbarian. Um, yeah, I don't get to say that very often. That that's taken from the wizard, I think, for those that that know that reference. The the barbarian leader, um, uh, Anura cosplay. Okay, sorry again. My apologies for 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 pronouncing these wrong. The traditional creation. Uh, we had uh, Nils uh, Beardfoot, uh, Ar- good old Arthas from the the lynch king as well so i just i wanted to cover those really really quick and and just send out some shout outs to those amazingly beautifully talented uh community members uh and just wow they they put so much into that it it makes me speechless i i i could talk for hours about that kind of stuff and then we're not here for all that because uh so with that we're gonna switch gears uh, as I mentioned, I uh, for me personally, I was able to hit Renowned. I think it was 34 on my main character. And then lately, I'm just plugging over here with, with some of my my alts. Checking for a few little goodies uh, from the past, if you will. 
every once in a while I'll pop in for like a few minutes do that and then you know like I said I'm not on very often anymore uh, throughout the week uh, I still try to, to put my side my time for my guild on Mondays uh, when I can so every once in a while something happens uh, Tuesday I, I do a few reset things and then pretty much the rest of the week I try to leave open and my uh, what I like to call the little time waster for just a few minutes of joy just to get away from uh, a lot of times during the week it's 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 chaotic and uh, I'm dealing with a lot of uh, chaos up here and uh, no I'm not turning to drugs and, and I would not I've I, from a family me and my brother we we've seen so many like I've never seen one good thing come out of it uh, if you follow my meaning to that and uh, that is a broad statement of course um, but there is so many negatives and so many uh, deaths and a lot of the people uh, are easy either just I, I'm not going to get again to each his own poison. I'm, this isn't me sitting here preaching about it. It's just sharing with you some of the ways that I go through my process. And uh, it's easy. It, it's easier for some thinking that it's easier to to turn to that. But again, I'm not. This isn't poking judgment. This isn't sending away those individuals that have. I'm just sharing with you my personal experiences and why I avoid it like the plague um, and a lot of other reasons and I'm only briefly talking about that I could have a whole segment uh, talking about this and 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 I've just never seen anything good come from it but some are like well I'm going to use it because I, I, then I can die earlier because why would I want to live till you know and it's just using those kinds of ex some will say excuses <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not putting those words in people's mouths. That's what they say sometimes to me, and I'm not. I'm not judging them. Uh, again, it all comes. Addiction can come in all forms: caffeine, chocolate, uh, games. Uh, well, depending on it, it all depends on where you cross that line too, and how much you cross that line. If you follow my meaning, there, there's so much more going on there, uh, psychologically, mentally. Sometimes people want an escape, but We've got to find a reasonable escape. I don't want to say a healthy because people, every, all kinds of different people will misinterpret what healthy means. Oh, see, then it, it logged out. I knew I was going to still do that. <laughs> I was like, I got to just log in to the character. So uh, if you give me uh, one, uh, one more moment here, I know we usually uh, would edit that out, but those that like my channel, just I edit right on through this. Uh, I plug on right on through it. Asmongol is very similar to. We won't edit his videos, and he just gets right into the to the whole conversation. So, um, and and I found a lot of people that that like that style. Um, and then you got you. Got, so anyway, uh, that's a mix. And with that, I'm gonna I'm um, come back. I just want to wrap up. Uh, I got to renown for. Uh, I was working on some of those little goodies every once in a while. We've been real busy. Yeah, who's who's needing up storm? Needing up storm? Needing up storm? I hope when I when I alt tab. I'm not losing my, my audio over here. I think I'm still able to send the microphone audio in. But uh, we're going to get into the calendar. I'm going to wrap that up. As well, uh, time walking was last week as well for those that, that wrapped that up as well. I know we didn't really cover the calendar much last week. We were getting into a lot of other excuse me, aspects on that. So let's uh, go ahead and pull that up. And I wish they'd let me move this calendar. I know there's a way you can release it. Uh, Love is the Air is, is wrapping up uh, tomorrow. We've got Lunar Festival. Of course, the micro-holiday hatchling of the Hippogriffs. I like it when that comes around because that makes me f shift my mental gears going, all right, we're just about out of winter. Almost there. Stay on target. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And then we had some other ones going on. We've got the Arena Skirmish bonus event starting this week. Uh, as I mentioned, Time Walking is wrapping up Uh You'll want to get that in tomorrow if you haven't been able to do that as well. Those that get the weekend event quest, remember if you do if you run time walking five times, you get another 200 piece. If you're still lacking 200 pieces, uh, I had done it a few times, and sadly I was just getting a repeat 200 piece, so it wasn't helpful. But not to say, look, gold's gold, right? Yeah, I get it, but still, there's a much more better way to 
Anyway, uh, <laughs> I won't get into that. PvP Brawl Cooking Impossible. That's ending this week as well. <clears throat> anyone that ran your, your weekly uh, mounts resets, anyone that runs your, your raids, uh, those are resetting for you. Uh, all, all that good stuff. We're in that final week of February. Uh, thankfully, we're getting some warmer temps up here in New England. Thank goodness. And thank goodness that looks like I hope it's a tail end. Now, we may still get going. Oh, wait, hold on. Mother Nature wants to throw a few more little storms at us. So we, we have in the past seen another 13.9 inches of snow come in March. So we may see another little storm like the one we got here in February. And then probably some dustings. Over the next couple of weeks, we usually see this this little bit of dusting that happens. And then, uh, for instance, recently we had one, and then there's like this this ice-thick ice layer uh, given down uh, as well. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes. With that said, we're going to wrap things up. Remember, go ahead, take uh, two things to reflect on about BlizzCon. Kind of sit back, relax. T t take a, Find a small zen moment, a moment of zen, for, if you will, uh, for where you can. Here's my little baby. This is my zen right here. Are you mommy? She's purring too right now. Yes, she is. She talks too. She's quite the little talker, ain't we, baby? So we're going to get brunch in us. So again, take take two things uh, that you're going to uh, think about for uh, and reflect on from, from what we saw come out of BlitzCon. Call me in the morning, and then once again, stay safe this week, and then once again, we will see you later.